Let's talk about the difference between emission spectra and absorption spectra. So emission spectra, this is what you're going to do in the lab with flame tests. Uh, this is when we heat an element in its gaseous form. So we put energy into it. We burn it or we put electricity through that gas. Um, and oh, so cool, it produces light. That's from Bohr's model where the electrons go from ground state to a higher excited state, higher energy level back down to ground state. They release energy in the form of light. Um, we'll see one light. So then if you put on polarized glasses or you use a prism to diffract the light, you'll see distinct lines like this. So you'll see black and then distinct lines. And those lines indicate the energy levels where the electrons have moved, transitioned between energy levels and then release that particular wavelength, that energy, and we see it as light. Uh, so this is going to be from flame tests. This is what we're going to do inside the lab. What you see here in absorption spectra is the energy absorbed by atoms. And this is what we see in stars, see in stars. Notice that beautiful rainbow right there is called a, um, a continuum right there that uh, you see all of the rainbow, but then you'll notice some black lines. That's where the electrons are absorbing energy, absorbing energy inside of a star. So when we look into space, uh, we will look at a star, for instance, we'll look at the sun, um, and we will observe black lines. Well, what we can do is compare those black lines to our emission spectra, and notice if I superimpose this, it would fill in those black lines perfect. So that would tell us, oh, this element exists inside that star. So what do we observe in the sun? Well, the great majority of the sun is hydrogen. We see the um, emission or the absorption spectra of hydrogen because the four lines that we see in emission spectra perfectly fit. We also see helium. Now this is kind of cool. The first place that scientists discovered helium was on the sun using absorption spectra. It wasn't later until later that helium was found on planet Earth. So helium was first discovered by using absorption spectra. Um, there, they saw oh, there are some lines that aren't a part of hydrogen. There must be another element. Um, and then sure enough, helium was discovered and the emission spectra fit the absorption spectra. Kind of a, a fun sidebar. All right, so there's the difference. Relation and difference. Here we're putting energy in and here the um, element is absorbing the energy so that the electrons can move. All right, good job.